Hi guys, so I bought the Warhammer 40k Kill Team starter set probably about six months ago and I have to say I absolutely love this game. Uh, yeah, me and my mate play this every week and it's just, yeah, it's fantastic. And as you can see, obviously loads of miniatures to collect for this, which is great, and loads of teams. So yeah, I do like to try out different teams. Uh, my most recent one has been these lovely big guys and they are the Adeptus Custodes. But I've also liked to try out obviously all the different type, types of teams. Uh, this is obviously one that I made up as obviously a crossover from Star Wars. This is the Intercessor team. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed playing them as well. And I think these ones were my uh, my take on the Death Guard. As you can see, me and my mate, we only play sort of the game together. We don't sort of play any tournaments. So we can be a little bit loose on how the, uh, they look. Uh, obviously, this is the first team that I made up, which is the Orcs, because, well, I just love Orcs. And the one thing I've found since playing the game, I do prefer the smaller teams. So as much as obviously I prefer these guys, because obviously, well, they're Orcs, um, yeah, there's too many. So I really wanted a team where there's only about six sort of, um, well, operatives. Uh, and that's why I thought I'd have a go at making my own sort of version of the Traitor Space Marine kill team. And yeah, so obviously you're going and looking for Orcs, my first place, wherever, wherever I go. Uh, Mr. Module Orc, um, yeah, you, you'd have seen loads of videos where I've used this guy's um, bits and pieces, just because they are so good looking. Uh, such a big variety and obviously the other thing I really really love is when these get printed out you print them out in body parts so torso legs arms guns all the rest of it and the heads so you really can mix and match and make well exactly what you need uh, which is pretty awesome so yeah I downloaded a load of these guys printed out quite a few bits just so I had a good sort of variety so I printed these out on the Eligu Mars 3 uh, decent little printer printed really well no issues Everything came out fine, and I kind of printed out more than I needed, uh, just because I'm going to get like a little bits box of well, Mr. Modulox stuff. Um, say, because I just love his stuff, so yeah, I want to make up some more kill teams using orcs. Um, as I say, I don't play any tournaments, so we can be a little bit loose on how they look. I do try and give them guns that kind of rep represent what they should have. Um, obviously, just to make it easier for myself and my mate when we're playing the game that we can tell if one of them's a, a super gunner or heavy gunner uh, as opposed to just a normal sort of grunt. And then yeah, okay, so just gluing it all together. Obviously because this is kind of resin, I'm, I'm using the good old super glue here. Um, but yeah, everything goes together really well. I say, I love the fact that these are sort of modular figures. Uh, and yeah, you can print out whatever bits you want. Obviously, you can kind of pose them in different ways. And yeah, I, say, I can't say I love these guys as, as much as I do because they are just awesome looking and yeah full of definition you'll see more of that once I start to paint these dudes uh, but yeah these guys are just so sort of detailed um, definitely on par with anything Warhammer do um, and yeah just look at these guys I say you can make exactly what you want so this is obviously gonna be my leader and that's why he's got the the power fist uh, this is just going to be a plain warrior, so obviously he's got a gun and then he uses his fist. So okay, again, obviously this gun isn't the gun that obviously he should have, but it's a single gun. So yeah, another fun bit, come down to painting, stick them on these little uh, paint pot holders, prime them in black. Uh, and again, this say this is where I really love doing this bit, as this bit really shows off the definition in these, uh, in these miniatures. Obviously the other main reason for doing this is it, it makes the speed paints go on even better. Um, and yeah, it makes the blacks blacker, the highlights, well, highlightier. <laughs> as we all know, I don't know any of the technical terms. I just kind of say it as I see it. So yeah, they've uh, dry brushed in grey, now dry brushed in white. Um, and yeah, so this is where I say you can really see all the definition in these miniatures. And they are just so nice. So the speed paints, they seem to work really, really well, obviously, when there's more definition. Um, as opposed to using them on a plain area. Um, obviously that makes sense because obviously you need the definition to get the darker bits and the raised bits so you can see the sort of shades in the uh, in these things. So you'll have seen recently I've got hold of the Army Painter Speed Paint 2.0. Um, there's also the Speed Paint 1.0 in the background there. Uh, and yeah, I'll sort of obviously mix them all together um, and obviously as you can see, sprayed all the lids. So yeah, something I wanted to do with these orcs um, is do each one in a different green just because this will make them look a little bit different uh, but obviously not too different and it'll also show me which green is my uh, my preferred one um, I mean basically I'm using every green here apart from the one that's called orc green uh, and that's because the orc green it looks a bit too well a bit too dark a bit too much like the hulk 
Whereas I do like these ones. These ones are just, I don't know, they seem to be more sort of more natural looking for an orc, uh, if that is such a thing. Uh, even though I do like blue orcs as well. So yeah, there you go. There's a couple done. And so you can see a little bit of difference in them. Um, but yeah, I, I just love all these uh, those speed paints. Um, so with the greens, I think I've actually got about 13, 13 different greens, uh, which is kind of awesome. As if it really means I can do a whole variety of different coloured looking uh, looking orcs. So yeah, get these all painted. Um, obviously, I'm batch painting, which again will make things easier later. Obviously, at the moment I'm doing obviously different colours, uh, but then when I get into painting their actual outfits and uniforms, you'll see that I use sort of one colour and then do it on all of them. So this is just to go through all the colours I've used on the orcs. Just in case you, when you do get hold of the uh, the Army Painter Speed Paints 2.0, uh, and you want to see exactly how each green looks on the Orcs, um, yeah. So I'm not going to say the name of it because obviously you can kind of read that. Um, well, if you're watching the video, so yeah, each one a little bit different, and I think they've come out really well. So say I kind of like all these greens. Um, I probably have got a favourite, but um, yeah, I just love the fact they are all that little bit different. So Army Painter now do met metallic paints, uh, which is awesome, because obviously if you've seen lots of my recent or past videos, you'll always hear me saying, now I'm using normal paint, I wish Speed Paints did uh, metallic ones. And yet yeah, they do, which is pretty cool. So with the metallic paints, uh, they go on really well. I say these are nice, and again, excuse the, uh, the terminology, they are nice and watery. Um, so yeah, they go on really, really well. Obviously, these aren't quite as good as the normal speed paints, as in you don't quite get that sort of that really dark looking area, the light looking area, and then the middle area. Um, you definitely get sort of like a bit of a dark and a bit of a light with them. So, yeah, definitely not bad. And as I say, they go on super nice, uh, which is great. So, these guys, obviously, when I was thinking about doing these guys, I kind of had Arnold Schwarzenegger um, and his team from Predator in mind. So that's why I've kind of gone with uh, all these like combat looking dudes. And that's why I'm going to keep all the, the painting with these in sort of like, well, brownishes, greenishes, because obviously I want them to sort of, um, well, blend in with the camouflage. That being said, obviously I play these uh, on the Into the Dark sort of space, um, go dark sort of spaceship doobry, what's it? Um, so yeah, so even though they've got camouflage, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb because obviously they're on a spaceship. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I kind of wanted a predator-looking um, team, and that's what I've uh, <laughs> that's what I've got. Um, but I say you might well see me doing other kill teams using orcs. Uh, yeah, that, that could be my challenge to to do every single kill team there is, but make it a orc variant. Um, yeah, again, guys, just because I I, <laughs> I can't say enough. I just love orcs. Um, yeah, I love these little guys. Uh, and I say now I've got all these variety of Army Painter Speed Paints uh, to paint these green dudes. I'm going to have a lot of different kind of green dudes. Or I might say I might do some uh, some blue dudes for some of them because I do kind of like blue orcs. So yeah, as you can see, I'm um, doing the teeth. Uh, I probably could use one of the Speed Paints for this. But as I've been a little bit messy with the green paint going over the teeth, that's why I'm using, well, a normal sort of block colour. And then, yeah, good old, obviously, eyes. So this is why I, I think another reason why I love orcs. Uh, yeah, you just have to do a little red drop for eyes. There's no messing about trying to do um, a white area and a little black pupil. Yeah, just uh, a little splodge of red uh, and you're done. So, yeah, as eyes goes, these are the best, best dudes to do eyes with. <laughs> uh, especially if your eyesight isn't all that hot like mine. Um, and, yeah, trying to do anything else, I just get guys that look cross-eyed. So yeah, we're nearly done now, uh, only the last few bits to do, and that's that I like to sort of paint their lips, um, well just to make their lips look obviously a bit different from the rest of them. So I don't know what colour orcs lips normally are, uh, but yeah I like to sort of go over a pink or a purple, um, and yeah just put a little bit of that over, um, yeah just to make them look, well make the lips sort of stand out I guess. <laughs> yeah so we are pretty much done now on the painting and I, have, I absolutely love these guys, I think they've all come out really really well. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to play these and I'll actually be playing these tomorrow night So well the night you see this video guys, I'll be playing it that evening So yeah, I'll let you guys know how I get on with these dudes So just the one last thing to do and that's to carefully take these off the base 
Um, obviously, I've done a little drop of glue on these, and generally when I use um, the Warhammer or Games Workshop figures, obviously they pop off nicely. But the one, one issue you might have with resin um, is it can be kind of brittle. So sometimes, I have in the past had problems when I've cut these off, sometimes uh, you break a foot. So rather than doing that with these dudes, because uh, again, I love orcs, so I'm going to take care of these, I've got this sort of degluer stuff. Um, generally, works really good. It is a case of just putting it on. It comes out so wet, this stuff. It's like water. So it does get everywhere. So, yeah, put it sort of around the feet and then wibble it around and hopefully it'll get in underneath it. So I left it for about 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, I didn't check the camera to see, well, what you guys could see. And, yeah, that guy shot off. In fact, he shot off my table onto the floor. But, uh, yeah, it came off nice and clean and didn't make a mess. Um, again, this guy, you're not going to see what happens because... <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to look at the camera to see where it was. I was too busy, well, being careful not to break these dudes at this last point. And yet they all come off perfectly. And as you all know, I like to use clear bases, uh, mainly because obviously I want to see the terrain that's underneath them, because they could be on different kind of terrain. So yeah, I get my bases from Fluid 3D Workshop. Uh, there's a link in the description, guys. They do a whole variety of bases. They do the clear ones that you can see here, as well as the normal sort of black, sort of beveled ones. So if you're after any basis for your miniatures, check them out. So onto the glamour shots. So I am super pleased with how these came out and obviously how I'm going to be using these. Uh, this first guy is going to be the Chaos Champion, so kind of the boss. So that's uh, that's this dude. Obviously Plasma Pistol and Power Fist, which is pretty cool. And the next dude, uh, I changed my mind with this one. This one's going to be the Chaos Heavy Gunner. Um, but I wasn't too sure whether to use the Heavy Bolter or the Grenade Launcher. I think I'm going to go with the Heavy Bolter, even though it doesn't look like it. And then the other one is just the Chaos Gunner. Um, again, the Plasma Gun or a Melter Gun. Not 100% sure yet which one I'm going to use. Uh, but yeah, either way, that's going to be what that's going to be used for. And then this dude is the Icon Bearer. Um, so yeah, so rather than having him like hold, well, an icon, he's holding his little puppy. Um, and that's going to be his icon, which I think looks pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have two Chaos Warriors. So these are, well, these are just the, sort of the grunts of the, uh, of the group. But um, yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and you like my little kill team here. As I say, I do just love, 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 love orcs. So we'll be doing more with these. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that uh, like button, subscribe, share where possible, guys. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's a kill team you'd like to make me see uh, out of orcs. I say I probably will make quite a few and I will be using Mr. Modulork, um yeah, quite a bit as well, just because obviously I love his things. Okay, guys, well, a big thank you to me patrons and Chaos Cards for helping support the channel. There's a link down below, guys. You can still get a discount from Chaos Cards on their miniatures over £30. Um, yeah, so go and click on that. Okay, guys, you'll take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.